Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the webinar The Gifts and Gets of Partnering with SaaS Plaza. Welcome to this third webinar in a row and again I have Neil Downing with me um, to make sure that you get all the information about the gifts and gets of partnering with SaaS Plaza. Neil, welcome. Thank, uh, you. thank you for having you again in the studio thank and um, well this is the third webinar. Uh, maybe you want to give the people a wrap up for the first and the second webinar. And of course people please do ask some questions, put your question into the chat venture and we will answer them here right away. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to, as Nicole says, the third in our series of webinars. Uh, today is probably the most important of those webinars where we're talking in more detail about what's in it for you. What do you get from partnering with SAS Plaza? And what do we expect from our partners in order that the business relationship benefits you, benefits your customers, most importantly, and benefits SAS Plaza? So uh, we've got a number of topics to cover, but before we do, it's worth just a brief recap on what we've been doing so far. So this is the, the third in a series. Uh, you can see on the screen the previous two webinars, the first of which was talking at a relatively high level about what it means to be a cloud-first company, the trends that are taking place in the market today and how SAS Plaza is already helping hundreds of NAV partners to move their customers into a, the cloud and to adopt what I would call a, a cloud first thinking and strategy for what they do. The second webinar went into much more detail, uh, was given by subject matter experts on the security, protection, GDPR and regulation and how SAS Plaza and Microsoft work together with our partners to solve these practical problems as customers move to the Azure cloud. So just to recap a little on SAS Plaza, there was a lot more detail in the, the first webinar, but we are a global indirect CSP for Dynamics partners. We've been working with Dynamics and NAV for over 10 years, and we work with over 200 partners today with about 800 installed customers running right now on the Azure cloud. And what we see on a global basis from working with and talking to these partners is we see that you're under pressure. We see that Microsoft really want you to transform and we'll talk about that in uh, the later sections. And you need to innovate to change your relationship with your customers, your depth of technology that you provide to them and how that integrates with their core business whilst at the same time coping with the pressures of new entrants in the market who were perhaps born in the cloud and don't have that legacy. But your knowledge is relevant and your experience is relevant and how you operate in those specific markets and bring that knowledge to your customers is relevant. So we've been working with partners like you for many years to help take care of that infrastructure and take care of cloudifying your customers so you can concentrate on where you really add the key value. And to do that, we've come up with this model that I'm going to talk through in a little bit more detail in the slides to come. So today, much of the NAV world still looks like this. It's on premise. Of course, there's wonderful innovations like Business Central that are moving uh, and allowing customers to take pure software as a service for their Microsoft Dynamics environment. But we know and I'm sure you know there is a large customer base out there that are not quite ready for that today. So we have what we call cloud powered and cloud powered is where we're bringing those customers as they are today to the Azure cloud. So you can see the recognition for them. The customers can gain the benefits of being in the Microsoft hyperscale cloud without having to go through a significant re-engineering. And of course, tomorrow, there's what we call Cloud Accelerated, that those customers are in the cloud. They are able to uh, take all of the benefits that Business Central Dynamics 365 has to offer. And we can still assist with that transition. And we assist with providing that infrastructure to once again allow you as the partner community to concentrate on your core business. Throughout doing that, we have the following core values that really binds together SaaS Plaza's DNA and helps us to deliver what we do to our customers. We believe very strongly in expertise and we have Dynamics certified engineers and have been working with Dynamics for over a decade. 
We have 24 by 7 follow the sun support. So we're always there for your customers because we know the ERP applications and CRM applications need to be available 24 by 7. We're easy to work with developing models, go to market that help you as a partner to not worry about the infrastructure and to sell your core value. We can be trusted and in webinar two, we talked more about how we deal with GDPR, security, compliancy. We're fully audited for everything that we do, all of our processes, all of our infrastructure and systems so that you can trust us with your customers' data and your customers' core business assets. And I suppose the most important one, our go-to-market is via partners. We believe in models that accelerate partner business. So everything that we do and all of our structure is around how we support you as a partner to deliver for your end customers. Okay, so now I wanna move on and talk about today's topic in more detail, which is all about what are the partner gives and gets. So the onboarding process for us is really where it starts. Uh, onboarding is a very, very critical part of any partner relationship, but the whole end-to-end -end ecosystem of the partner relationship with SAS Plaza has a number of very important stages. So I'm gonna talk in detail about each one, how we connect, how we build together a business plan, what the contracting framework looks like and how that benefits you, what we offer you in terms of accessibility, portals, commercial models and go-to-market, how we help your customers go live, and last but probably most important to many of you, what the incentives and recognition look like, financially what it means to partner with SAS Plaza and bring some of these NAV customers to the cloud today uh, in the current format that they're in. So to start, let's focus on how we connect with our partners. Of course, we're here to talk about Microsoft Dynamics NAV. We also support all of the other flavors of Dynamics, but in NAV, we have a lot of expertise and what we typically do with most partners in the first in early relationships is to help by providing a trial demo. So we can bring that live within one working day. We can create that on Azure and you can see from a technology standpoint, an engineering standpoint or a performance standpoint, how that works for your customers. We can do it with a generic Kronos database and we offer typically one month free of charge to allow you to evaluate how your NAV customers would see their systems if they were operating on Azure and really provide that proof point that uh, we do all the things that we say we do. Once we've done that, once we have the initial engagement, as part of this process, I think the presentation is called Gives and Gets for a very good reason. It's a two-way process. It works because we work together and also, uh, in a lot of the stuff that we do, we work together with Microsoft as the third part of the, the triangle to ensure business success with a, a real focus on the customer. To make it work for both parties, we would typically work on a business plan with you as a partner. And that business plan doesn't have to be overly complicated. We know that the main thing you wanna do is focus on your customers and your value add in the market you operate in, but it's a very simple thing just to help put together and make clear what our joint proposition is. So what we need to do to develop business together, what the proposition looks like in the markets that you operate in, simple financial projections and resource plans so that we ensure that we've got the right resources from SAS Plaza, where needed the right resources from Microsoft and from you as a partner to make this a success. It's not simply about signing some kind of partnership agreement and then hoping that the business will flow. That's, uh, that's not really the, uh, uh, the approach that I think is gonna benefit any of us. So what does partner success depend on? What are the gives that we would ask for for a partner that wants to work with SAS Plaza? The first thing is senior management buy-in. Uh, many of you watching this webinar today or the recording that's online are going to be those senior managers, are going to be those people in the NAV partner community that can make those decisions, that can understand the strategic direction that Microsoft is pushing for, that your customers are pushing for, and how SAS Plaza can help fit there. Without that senior management buy-in, it's very difficult to see 
a partnership working to its maximum efficiency. Of course, salespeople, we love them. We do very great things to ensure that they're happy uh, and that we need them to help us go and spread the message. But you need that sales engagement in what you're doing. You need that sales buy-in to say, we can engage our customers and this is the proposition that we're gonna do it with. In many cases, we work with the partner commercially to help define the proposition. You'll see as we go later through the presentation, SAS Plaza has some fairly transparent uh, and simple to understand pricing models that can be applied. But in our experience, it works very well when we have that additional layer of customer engagement to help uh, and drive the proposition commercially through your business. Of course, technically, uh, implementing something like NAV in Azure revolves around a technical discussion or multiple technical discussions with the customer. So it's very, very important that your technical community have the chance to meet our technical community, exchange ideas, understand how we realize the implementations in the cloud, and therefore can explain that to your customers in a clear and sensible way and identify any issues that happen. Marketing makes the world go round. Very, very important that from a marketing perspective, the partner and SaaS Plaza are aligned. We have a range of tools that can help the marketing proposition go to market. We offer a range of uh, marketing cooperation, funding and expertise. But that marketing to marketing link is very important in the onboarding process. And finally, project support. We'll see again later on how when we're bringing customers to the cloud, SaaS Plaza provides that project support to ensure that all of the specific uh, individual elements come together to deliver for the customer. But what we usually see as the best route for success is where we also have project support from the partner. So those two project managers work together in a peer-to-peer uh, -peer relationship to make sure that whatever disruption the customer might experience is communicated, planned, scheduled, uh, and delivered so that we can, uh, we can move as efficiently as possible. Okay, so we mentioned this briefly earlier, but what does a NAV quick scan look like? So typically um, for any customer that's thinking about moving a NAV installation to the cloud, we have tools and we have expertise where we review those requirements. We can make very simply a very fast proposal that allows you to understand what the costs, what the performance, and what the architecture would look like on Azure. And then we can provide the migration steps to get there. I should add at this point that the quick scan uh, many of our partners now have evolved to the stage where they can do this themselves. So this is not a overly complicated thing, but it's something that at least allows you to set the right customer expectation and get the right level of financial and technical comfort that you can deliver to your customers. And it's a quick scan, so it's how long does it take? Typically one working day. Okay. And, and we have the answer, we have a proposal, mm -hmm. and then from there we can move on. Okay, it's really quick scan. Yeah, we <laughs> <laughs> so it's sometimes things that are called quick are no, it's far, really quick. far less so, but yes, in this case, um, that's what you get for uh, a lot of expertise in this particular area, I guess. Okay, so we've built a business plan. Again, doesn't have to be uh, particularly complicated, but we understand what we're aiming for, we understand what the proposition looks like, and we understand what uh, the partner is providing and what they require from SAS Plaza. The next stage is really to move on to a very simple uh, formal business arrangement. So we have the framework agreement, of course, like any company has. Really, this provides very simple protections for you as a partner and for your customers. It provides the necessary GDPR regulations, non-disclosure. It provides an overview of what the service level agreement looks like for, that you can pass on to your customers. And the service addendum is essentially the uh, order form that governs the individual design. So it provides an overview of what technical uh, designs are required and what the pricing and commercials look like. Once that's in place, if you look at a typical uh, Navon as your implementation, then this is what the roles and responsibilities would look like. 
So uh, there's a lot of boxes here, and I'm sure anybody uh, looking at this slide would know that this is very much not to scale, that some of these boxes are much larger in terms of time, effort, intensity of connection with the customer and their application. And the functional piece, which is the really critical key value add for you as a partner, is probably the largest box on this entire slide. What we're really trying to illustrate here is SAS Plaza takes responsibility for everything from a infrastructure, database, NAV perspective in customers that are moving to the cloud. But the partner retains two really, really important things. That overwhelming functional knowledge that is so important and the user management. So we'll talk in uh, a coming slide about how that's achieved, but uh, you don't have to come to SAS Plaza to administer users. This is something that can be done yourselves. So you have that level of control and uh, immediacy so you can get things done very quickly. We mentioned it in the second webinar, but as part of the framework agreement and as part of our contractual relationship, we provide the processor and subprocessor agreements that are necessary for GDPR regulation here in the EU. So fundamentally, that's something that you get as a partner as part of the uh, SAS Plaza contracting process. Okay, so business development. So once we've agreed the business plan, once we've got a uh, contract in place, a framework agreement in place, typically there would be a more detailed engagement then. So what we would normally do is we would want uh, a kickoff with the commercial team of the partner. We'd want to sit down, provide training, understand the proposition, develop what specific marketing support would be needed, work on the sales contacts. And often in our relationship, this happens also with Microsoft. So this might well be, in your case, a three-way process with you as the functional partner, SAS Plaza, and Microsoft all at the table working on that business development strategy to drive forward against the plan. Okay, great, so we've got a contract, we've got structure, we've got a plan. How do we execute that plan? What support do you get as a SAS Plaza partner to help you do that? So the first thing to talk about is our portals. Uh, nothing remarkable in the sense of every provider has some level of self-care portal. You know, I was uh, interacting with my water company this morning in uh, a very similar way, which was about as unexciting as it's possible to get. However, within the SAS Plaza context, um, the portal is very vital for you to be able to run your business and maintain the relationship that you have with your customers. So of course it allows you to report incidents. Crucially, as I mentioned, it allows you to deploy new users. And even in most cases, it allows you to add new customers directly yourselves without having to go through uh, any kind of uh, human process within SAS Plaza to allow that to happen. So that's a very, very important thing to help you be agile in your market and drive your business success. And within the portal, you can see the status, of course, of all of your billing, all of the Microsoft licenses you're consuming, uh, and how that affects you commercially on a month-by-month -month basis. The process to bring you into the portal is actually very simple. Typically, we will create a primary contact as part of the onboarding process, we'll provide training in how to use our systems and how to get the most out of those. And of course, uh, the partner manual, which I'm sure nobody ever reads, but of course we would uh, provide that as a standard part of the service. Uh, of course, if you do read manuals, then uh, well done. <laughs> okay, so once you go live, what does this look like? How do we handle the deployment? How do we handle the support and the in-life service? Because once again, to reinforce the key aspect of this, ERP, CRM solutions, you're moving them to the Azure cloud. Many are either on-premise today where the customer is taking care of their own uh, infrastructure monitoring and support, or they're in perhaps a private data center where maybe you as the partner or the customer or some third-party data center provider are doing that. So how does that work in the SAS Plaza model? So the first thing is 
of course, to choose the right deployment model. And the next slide goes into more detail about the kind of deployment models that we typically see. Very, very important, we provide the monitoring and the 24 by 7 support. I mentioned Follow the Sun. I've got a, a slide on how that works. But to be clear and reiterate, that is one of the things that you get with SAS Plaza. You get the full 24 by 7 monitoring against our SLAs. Project and delivery involvement. I mentioned dedicated project management. In our experience, there's no implementation that doesn't require at least some level of project support and project management in order to make it happen. You're working with a customer's own timeframes. You're working in the confines of their existing IT infrastructure. And you're migrating typically from an existing solution to the cloud. That needs planning, and it needs to give the customer confidence that we know what we're doing. And after go live, partners going to support. So uh, we have a transition phase, which is, again, something that we see as very important. When you're in the project phase, your customer will have a nominated Dynamics NAV engineer. And that engineer stays on the project even after go live to help that bedding in process if there are performance challenges, if users can't access certain functionality, or for any other reason, uh, we provide that dedicated engineer that's had that project experience to help manage that through until we're jointly happy that the customer is now ready to be in standard support. So I mentioned choosing the right deployment model is very important. We have three deployment models that typically we operate under. So the first one is where you can use an existing SaaS Plaza multi-tenant cloud. These exist for every version of NAV that you can realistically think of or realistically support today at least. And you would just put those customers directly into the SaaS Plaza multi-tenant cloud. What we sometimes see, and there's an example of this in one of our reference cases we're going to talk about later, is where we build a multi-tenant cloud for you as a partner. So this tends to be popular where a partner operates maybe in the SMB small uh, end of the market, and they sell a fairly standard solution for generally small numbers of individual users. And we can provide a multi-tenant cloud. We can provide all the mechanisms that you would need as a partner to add those customers yourself so you don't need to do it via us, and a simple per user per month SaaS-based pricing model that allows that to be very straightforward, very simple for you. Then, of course, there's the one with the uh, box around it, customer single tenant. This is the most common model that we do where we deploy within Azure an individual CSP subscription, an individual Azure subscription for each of your end customers. And therefore, you've got the security and the performance that you need for each of your customers. And perhaps from an incentive point of view, which we'll touch on a bit later, you also get that recognition for each individual customer you add, because each one is an individual Azure subscription that exists under you as a partner. Basically, this slide just provides a more detailed overview of what's included with each one. As I mentioned, when you go for the single tenant implementation, then you get to see a lot more recognition because each one of your customers is individually uh, visible to Microsoft, which is, of course, increasingly important in the world of how Microsoft views you as a partner and how it views uh, your end customers uh, and what their digital partner of record is. So we talked about projects in more detail, uh, already rather in more detail. I mentioned the project management. We already have uh, a standard process for how we do test, how we do acceptance, and the procedures we go through before we decide to go live. This is something that we do day in, day out for our NAV customers. And it's always in accordance with ITIL best practices, which is another important thing to mention. And of course, it's backed up by our independent audit certifications. We mentioned support and how that works from a follow the sun perspective. Our standard operating locations are uh, here in EMEA in Amsterdam, in San Diego in the US, and in Singapore. And together, between those three locations, we provide full 24 by 7 cover for our customers with 
access to the same common ticketing platform and the same common architecture for the services that we deliver. So there are NAV experts and engineers available 24 by 7 to solve your issues. I'm not going to go through this slide in detail, but it gives you a snapshot if you want to see it of what our standard SLAs are for incident and change management. The key points being, of course, that we deliver routinely four nines availability for our customers, backed up by financial penalties, and we have stringent monitoring and reporting that shows how we're doing against all of these SLAs with escalation procedures, as you would expect from someone that is used to managing mission critical workloads on a 24 by seven basis. In terms of how we see support, I think this slide is very important because it shows two really critical things. The first is that our support model is always indirect with you as the partner being a very key part of that support process. Yeah, we, we of course sometimes need direct dialogue with customers to resolve issues, but we see that partner relationship still as critical to managing the information flow and managing any incidents that occur. And the other thing that this slide illustrates, I think, very well is we understand that when we're working on NAV environments in Azure, it's often impossible to solve any problems that occur without that dialogue between SAS Plaza, the functional partner that knows its code very well, and the end customer that can tell us what the users are experiencing and what the internal IT landscape looks like within the customer. And that is how we work. That is our standard operating model that we work together with the partner and the customer to resolve these kind of issues rather than maybe uh, a traditional support model where everyone points at the next layer in the chain and actually doesn't yeah. achieve anything for the yeah. end customer. So all of the support piece is tied together in what we call cloud care. And cloud care is our de facto methodology for everything that we do. So it involves detailed assessment and design. So we've talked about that. It can start with a quick scan, but it evolves into a detailed understanding based on our expertise with NAV of what is needed to support that customer in the cloud. It moves through to deployment with ITIL project management that is fully audited and certified. It then moves through operation and support 24 by seven, follow the sun, again with a fully audited set of processes that comply with any of the regulations that your customers would think are significant like ISAE, SSAE. And then a continuous improvement process. So we have service delivery managers that work with our partners to ensure that our processes are aligned and work together to ensure that we learn from any incidents that happen and we use those as a process to constantly improve the relationship. And the best relationships we have with partners today are where we've applied that over time mm -hmm. and we've built those relationships at a, a commercial and sales front end, at a marketing and proposition, at a project and delivery, and then at an operational standpoint. And that's how we like to work and that's why our route to market is via partners. Okay, so I said this was probably the most important piece. I guess you can judge for yourself, but how does it work from a pricing point of view and what recognition do you get as a partner for working with SAS Plaza? First, I'd like to uh, just show you uh, a slide with price on. I'm not sure if my uh, chief finance officer is watching, he'll be uh, overly impressed that we've uh, gone down this road. But I think it's important to show that in a lot of cases, it is possible to offer a very simple price for what we do per user. So here we have 31 euros 50 per user per month for a standard NAV client. That is our standard price. Of course, it would be irresponsible of me, just in case the CFO is watching, it would be irresponsible of me just to say everyone gets that price. The reality is very different, of course, for building private clouds, for building clouds that have high resource requirements, maybe across multiple geographies, will all impact what that pricing looks like. And of course, the positive is, uh, if we have installations, as we do see with large numbers of users, then that pricing can very well be a lot lower, depending on yep. exactly how we put it together. 
But as existing SaaS Plaza partners will confirm, I'm sure, there are uh, simple ways that you can price this per user per month and get a very accurate ability to either compare that for your customers to the cost they see today or the cost that they would see if they're able to go Dynamics 365, but also just compare it to what you charge and how your charging model might work towards the end customer. Of course, that includes core infrastructure. It includes all of the cloud care methodology I just talked about and includes simple infrastructure items like daily backups. In terms of billing, which is a, an important question that we get asked a lot, uh, again, you, as you might expect, we are very flexible about that. We have many of our partners that want that customer relationship where they do the billing to the customer. We build a partner at agreed services and we can provide the data you would need to then turn that into a bill yourself, but you take the responsibility for billing the end customer. Or we have a number of partners who actually uh, can ask us to bill their customers direct. And that's also something that we have the capability to do. Mm -hmm. We bill the customer, we set the price, and we pay the partner an agreed commission percentage that would grow based on the, the amount that the customers grow over time. So we're pretty flexible in how that works. And as we're going to talk about a little later in this section, we also have, of course, upsell opportunities for you as a partner to sell other Microsoft services to your end customer which you can transact through SaaS Plaza and be billed via SaaS Plaza in either of these models, whether that's something like Office 365 or any other uh, Microsoft product that you can buy via the CSP program. Okay, so in terms of recognition and financial reward as a partner, what does that actually mean? Well, typically what we see as a standard model is, uh, and I think we're gonna see a lot more of this as Microsoft are looking to change their number of cloud solution providers that they have at tier one CSP, which is changing in uh, towards the end of August. And we talked a bit more about that in webinar one. But typically what we see is a Microsoft partner acting as the indirect reseller, and we are the indirect provider, and they transact their business through us. What that means is they can still be the digital partner of record and get all of the incentives that are associated with that. They can buy any CSP SKU, Microsoft SKU that goes through the CSP program, can be bought via us and whatever incentives are associated with that. Of course, the precise percentage is not on this slide because it depends which SKU you're talking about. So for things like Skype for Business, it's a much higher percentage than maybe standard Office 365. It varies per region, so some countries have acceleration programs. And of course, uh, as our friends would, from Microsoft would confirm, it can change at any time. So uh, again, it would be uh, not necessarily the right thing to do to have a percentage on there. But you will know your markets much better than we do, and you will know what kind of uh, numbers we're talking about here. Crucially, as we mentioned when we talked about the deployment models, customer single tenant also allows you as a partner to receive recognition from Microsoft, both for customer ads and Azure consumption against those customer ads, which in the current uh, incentive scheme within Microsoft is again very, very powerful. So that's one of the things you get that's through SaaS Plaza via Microsoft. There are also other SaaS Plaza in incentives that you would see as a partner. We are, depending on how the business plan looks, we offer additional revenue share percentage because we're a tier two CSP for most of the globe, which allows us some flexibility to do that. We'll provide marketing co-funding so we can go into your markets and together bring those customers to the cloud and start to eat into those 100,000 NAV installs that Microsoft estimate are still running on premise. We can provide specific support for things like proof of concepts. There's a scheme going at the moment where we've helped a number of partners with each of uh, their customers they want to bring, 10K of Azure consumption or 60 days, whichever is uh, is lower, is a typical value for these things. And in some cases, we've been able to go significantly beyond that. There are some really good Microsoft programs out there for bringing customers to Azure. If you're sitting on a lot of customers that are in a data center perhaps, and you're looking for a partner to help you bring those to Azure, 
we can get a significant amount of additional funding from Microsoft to make that happen. So when you partner with SaaS Plaza, you're unlocking a lot of other additional revenue streams and value add. And this doesn't even talk about the additional revenue streams that you might get as a partner by being able now to sell any of the CSP licenses to your customer today without any change in how you do your business. So talking of additional revenue streams and transforming partners, the next couple of slides were provided by Microsoft just to again reinforce how Microsoft see the NAV partner community. Um, we did talk about this in more detail in webinar one, so I'm only going to go through it at a, uh, a high level at this point. But what do we know? We know that the market is changing. We know Microsoft are committed to Dynamics NAV. Business Central is the latest proof point that they remain with that commitment. And they're committed to the partner community, but they want the partner community to evolve. They want ex existing Dynamics partners to sell Business Central, to focus on Dynamics 365, and the wider community of how that integrates with the Microsoft technology story. What we also know is Microsoft are recruiting a new breed of partners that are born in the cloud, that deliver that full technology stack, whether it's integrated IoT, machine learning, alongside the traditional deployment models for Dynamics, the traditional CRM and ERP. And how this looks is a massive blurring of the ecosystem, uh, a situation where partners used to look like this. They were system integrators, or they were ISVs, or they offered managed services like SaaS Plaza. Actually, now you're seeing a world where a system integrator can take their intellectual property, they can put it on app source, and they can sell it as an app that integrates with the Dynamics 365 family to offer their capability to a much wider community. So there's a huge uh, blurring of that, which I'm sure many of you are living day to day as you evolve your relationship with Microsoft and evolve your business models. And it's against this transformation that we're helping partners to take their existing customers, move them to the cloud, and gain those benefits. I've got a couple of slides that talk about partner successes. Again, uh, I don't want to spend too long on them because your uh, SaaS Plaza uh, account manager will be able to explain in more detail mm -hmm. some of these models. But to give you an idea, um, here's one that we were very proud of. Here in the Netherlands, we work with ABC Business as the functional partner. Tony Chocoloni are, I think, a pretty well-known brand now, increasingly well-known globally for being very, very innovative in their flavors. Certainly, uh, I can vouch for that, some of yeah. the, some of the, uh, <laughs> uh, the, to the ones I've uh, experienced, but also for being slave-free, fair trade, uh, and expanding on ethical grounds. Through ABC Business, we've been providing them with uh, an NAV infrastructure that allows them to expand to the US and to uh, the global markets and still giving ABC as the partner that full control over how the environment's deployed, the users, so they retain that very, very close relationship. Mm -hmm. As Tony's are growing rapidly, ABC are able to help them and grow with them, with us taking care of the infrastructure 24 by seven. Great, yeah. Another example is Incadea or Cox Automotive as uh, they're also known at the moment. Incadea are a specialist ISV that operate in the automotive sector. We've deployed a number of projects for them. Uh, the one that's mentioned here is over 1,000 dealers for uh, Ford and Lincoln across Asia Pacific. We work with Incadea because they have a highly uh, customized version of NAV or two product lines in fact. One focused on the uh, automotive dealer industry one focused on the tire industry, which are, of course, related but very different. Um, they use their vertical market knowledge to sell just into that market with a highly customized version of NAV. They sell on a global basis, and what they get from SaaS Plaza is that infrastructure support, the deployment support, and that deep knowledge of how their application works and how it interacts with Azure. And we've deployed projects for them everywhere from Brazil to India on the Azure platform, 11 Azure data centers globally. 
Okay, so now we're coming to the end of the presentation. I realize there's been uh, a lot of content that we've uh, gone through here. So perhaps just worth spending a moment summarizing uh, what are the key takeaways from the, the webinar for today. So what do you get as a partner if you choose SAS Plaza to help you on this journey? Maybe you're already in the Azure world and maybe you are already a cloud first partner and if so, then congratulations, I'm, uh, I salute you. Maybe you're still looking at how to enter the Azure world, but either way, uh, working with SAS Plaza will allow you, I hope we've demonstrated, to enter that world with confidence so that the power of the Microsoft Cloud, whether it's the geographical uh, spread, whether it's the security, it's the most certified platform in the world as we heard last week, whether it's the performance and availability, whether it's the consumption model and the pay per use model, whatever the key drivers are in your market and with your customers, we can help you enter the cloud perhaps more quickly than you would able to do otherwise. We can increase your share of wallet. If you take your customers to the Azure cloud, your NAV customers, you can start to see a revenue stream from those. Depending on how we implement it, potentially you can also see that as unique customer ads that you're recognized for with Microsoft. You can see it as Azure consumption you're recognized for. You can be the digital partner of record. You can ex expand your Microsoft licensing capability to sell more to those customers and increase the amount of money that you're going to get. Of course, you, by doing that, you're going to deepen the customer relationship. As customers move to the cloud, they're going to need that functional support more than ever. They're going to need that revision and they're going to need that support to help keep up with the latest uh, developments that Microsoft, of course, are doing all of the time. And they're going to need uh, you more and more as you supply them with more of their IT landscape. Of course, Business Central is here as part of the Dynamics 365 portfolio. By moving an NAV customer onto Azure, you're also already providing that cloud-powered step that we like to call it that leads towards cloud acceleration in the future. You can keep your recognition. We already mentioned that, but again, really important. SAS Plaza takes a partnership first model in the Dynamics markets, not because we want to steal your customers, because we know that you own those customers and it is through your knowledge and your experience and your relationship that those customers are in the Dynamics environment to start with. We value that and we want to keep that, but we want to make sure you get recognized for it as well. And of course, only you can say what it means in your individual market, but I'm pretty sure that your customers are asking for cloud if they're not already on it. They want some of those benefits. Maybe it can be nothing more complicated than they have an acceptance environment that they want to turn off when they're not using it for two out of every three months. Or it could be that they want a simple per user per month pricing model, which makes Dynamics 365 attractive today, but they can't quite reach that price point because they've got a lot of re-engineering to do. Whatever the customer need, flexibility, performance, availability, scalability, we can help you to provide that. So we believe in choice for you and your customer. We've talked about the different deployment models. We've talked about the speed at which we can deploy. We, hope, we aim to give you that choice. Dynamics 365 Business Central is a great product that's going to evolve a lot over the years to come. I think most of you will be thinking about moving there at some point. Your customers will certainly be thinking about it. This provides that stepping stone. We want you to be competitive and, and deliver good performance. We want to offer price points that allow you to keep these customers to provide a really good price comparison between the customer doing it themselves or between these new breed of partners that are born in the cloud that are offering pure SaaS as their only route to market. And we want to offer the full Microsoft Cloud portfolio to you and allow you as a partner with a good customer relationship to sell it. So they're the, the things I wanted to take mm -hmm. away. Um, do we have any questions? No, we don't have questions, but um, I can imagine that it's pretty overwhelming uh, what the partners <laughs> will be getting if they become a partner. So um, we talked about the time frame and what they can expect, but what would be their next step if they want to start with this? Yes, um, I thought you meant overwhelming as in 
50 much. slides no, in, no, no. It's, uh, in it's 45 just, minutes. No, the, the benefits are huge. I, I, I might be overwhelmed if I was no, looking no. at it, but uh, <laughs> indeed you're right. The benefits are overwhelming. And of course, everything I've said and everything we've talked about in the three webinars uh, are words that don't really mean anything until you turn them into actions. Um, what I hope uh, we've tried to get across in the, the last three webinars is this is not a new business venture for SAS Plaza, which is why we had Microsoft support so uh, importantly for generating these webinars. This is something that we're already doing, and because we're already doing it, we know what works. And what works is bring us a prospect. Maybe you're sitting there today watching this thinking, I've got a customer that really wants to move to the cloud, but they're on NAV 2013, and it's going to be really difficult, and it's going to take another six months. Come and talk to us. Let's work on our prospect together. Let's get you a uh, quick scan by the end of next week. Let's get you a proposal by early the week after, and let's have them on Azure by the end of the month is uh, what I would suggest okay. as, a, uh, as a potential call to action here. Well, that's a good call to action. I even saw somebody who, who will uh, think over it in the summer months, so they will come back to you in by the end of August. Um, for all the people who watched, uh, you can watch the webinar back on demand, and you will also get the slides uh, in return uh, in the same email. Um, well, Neil, this was very useful. Uh, three webinars in a row. Thank you so much. I learned thank a lot. <laughs> um, for all the people who watched it, uh, thank you so much. Um, there are some contact uh, notes on the next slide. Uh, oh. You know how to, to contact uh, everybody. Uh, you can reach out to them anytime, 24-7, I saw. Yes. So there will be somebody There'll answering. There will be somebody there. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, all the people who watched it, thank you. And please reach out to SaaS Plaza or watch the webinar uh, on demand. And I uh, hope to see you on another webinar. Thank you so much. Thank you.